Are you looking for the best monitors? In this video we will look at some of the best monitors the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. Inogn 27 M2V. The best monitor we've tested is the Inogn 27 M2V. It's an impressive monitor that delivers excellent picture quality and is versatile for different uses. It has a 27-inch, 4K screen with high pixel density, meaning it delivers detailed and sharp images, which is useful if you need it for browsing the web and reading text or if you want to sit back and watch the latest shows in 4K. It's great for watching multimedia content, especially in dark rooms, because it uses mini LED backlighting with a good local dimming feature that helps result in deep blacks next to bright highlights. Even if you want to watch it in a bright room, it easily gets bright enough to fight glare and gets very bright in HDR. On top of its excellent picture quality, it also features HDMI 2.1 bandwidth that makes it take full advantage of the PS5 and Xbox Series XS, and it has smooth motion handling. It's also impressive for office use as it has some productivity features like picture-in-picture -picture forward slash picture-by-picture -picture modes so you can view images from two sources simultaneously. It has a USB-C port that supports 90W of power delivery and DisplayPort Alt mode, so you can display an image from your laptop and charge it simultaneously. However, it has some issues with macOS, so if you want something that's versatile and also works with macOS, check out the Gigabyte M32U, but it has worse picture quality than the Inokin. Number 2. Gigabyte M27U. If you don't need the best of the best and prefer saving money by getting something in the mid-range price category, consider the Gigabyte M27U. It has a 27-inch, 4K screen like the Inok 27 M2V, meaning it still delivers the details and sharp images, but the main difference is that it doesn't have mini-LED backlighting like the Inok. This means it looks worse in dark rooms as there's more blooming around bright objects, and blacks aren't as deep and inky. While it doesn't get as bright as the Inok, it still has great peak brightness and decent reflection handling, so you won't have many issues using it in a well-lit room. It's great for a variety of uses, and it includes both gaming and productivity features. It has the same HDMI 2.1 bandwidth as the Inogn, which lets it take full advantage of current-gen gaming consoles. It even has a KVM switch that makes it easy to control two devices with the same keyboard and mouse connected to the monitor, like if you need to connect your work laptop and gaming PC. It also has a USB-C port, but with only 15W of power delivery, it isn't enough to charge your laptop while using it. If you don't need something with gaming features and you want a productivity monitor, the Dell U2723 QE is another great 4K option that costs about the same as the Gigabyte. It has a massive USB hub with 5 USB-A ports and 3 USB-C ports, so you can easily connect your devices, and it also has a KVM switch. Even the Dell S2722 QC is a great model that costs a bit less and is designed for productivity, so you'd be happy with either Dell monitor. Number 3. Gigabyte M27Q. If you want a budget-friendly monitor, plenty of options, like the Gigabyte M27Q, offer good value. It's a step-down model from the Gigabyte M27U, and there are some trade-offs for getting cheaper monitors, with the main difference being that the M27Q has a lower 1440p resolution. While that means text doesn't look as sharp due to the lower pixel density, the text clarity is still decent enough for everyday use. It has many of the same features as the M27U, like a USB hub with a USB-C port. This is good if you want to quickly connect a laptop, but your laptop won't charge while you're using it because it's limited to only 10W of power delivery. It has good picture quality thanks to its sRGB mode, resulting in excellent accuracy before calibration, and it displays a wide range of colors in both SDR and HDR. Its wide viewing angles make it a great choice if you constantly need to share your screen with someone else. While it doesn't have HDMI 2.1 bandwidth like the M27U and can't take full advantage of the PS5 and Xbox Series XS, it's still impressive for PC gaming as it has a 170Hz refresh rate and great motion handling. Number 4. Asus VG246H. 
The Asus VG246H is a good alternative to the Gigabyte M27Q if you want a simple and cheap monitor. As you go down in price categories, you'll have to sacrifice the size and resolution, which is the case with the Asus. It has a smaller 24-inch screen and a lower 1080p resolution than the Gigabyte, but it still offers good office performance with decent text clarity. Despite its low cost, it also has an sRGB mode that results in great accuracy before calibration. Another advantage this monitor has over other cheaper models is its remarkable ergonomics. You can adjust the screen in various ways, including rotating it into portrait mode. It also has wide viewing angles that keep the image consistent from the sides, which is important if you need to share your screen with someone else. Unfortunately, it's limited in gaming features as it has a 75Hz refresh rate, so if you're a gamer and want a cheaper monitor for productivity and gaming, the Acer Nitro XF243 Wide Miapix is a good alternative, but it costs a bit more. Number 5. Dell Alienware AW3423DW. There are other, better options if you're a PC gamer and want a monitor to take full advantage of your gaming setup. If you're interested, the best gaming monitor we've tested is the Dell Alienware AW3423DW. It has a 175Hz refresh rate with a near instantaneous response time, so motion is incredibly clear. It also has native G Sync variable refresh rate, VRR, support, which is great if you have an Nvidia graphics card. The Dell Alienware AW3423DWF is nearly the same monitor that costs less but has native FreeSync VRR support instead. It can't take full advantage of NVIDIA graphics cards, but it's a great choice if you have an AMD graphics card. Its QD old panel delivers incredibly deep blacks in dark rooms with no distracting blooming, making it an excellent choice for dark room gaming. However, there are few drawbacks because OLEDs risk permanent burn-in with constant exposure to the same static elements over time. If that's a concern, the Samsung Odyssey Neo G8S 32BG85 is a good alternative. It's a 4K, 32-inch monitor that gets much brighter thanks to its mini-LED backlighting, but it doesn't deliver the same perfect black levels. Luckily, it's even better for console gaming as it supports HDMI 2.1 bandwidth, meaning it's fully compatible with the PS5 and Xbox Series XS, so if you're a console gamer, consider this monitor instead.